Mount St. Helens is America's most famous volcano, but most people aren't familiar with the events that led up to the infamous eruption on May 18, 1980. Prior to the eruption, Mount St. Helens was known as the Mount Fuji of the United States. People saw the mountain as a beautiful backdrop, not a potentially deadly volcano. A beautiful lake was located in the area. It was popular as a weekend getaway from the city. Many cabins and vacation homes were located close to the mountain. On March 20th, 1980, a 4.1 magnitude earthquake hit directly under the mountain. Scientists came to the area to study the mountain from all over the country. On March 27th, a small explosion blew a 250 foot hole in the top of the mountain. A plume of ash and steam was released into the air. The area was evacuated and similar explosions occurred many times throughout the next month. In April, a large bulge was noticed on the north face of the mountain. The bulge grew five feet a day and eventually was one mile in length. The plumes of smoke and seismic activity began to dissipate in early May. Because of this, it was difficult to maintain evacuation orders and road closures. Then, it happened. On May 18, 1980, at 8.32 a.m., a 5.1 magnitude earthquake struck under the mountain, triggering the worst volcanic disaster in U.S. history. Within 10 seconds of the earthquake, the bulge on the mountain fell away and the volcano exploded laterally. The avalanche of ash traveled down the mountain at 150 miles per hour and through the air at 300 miles per hour. The temperature of the ash reached 660 degrees Fahrenheit and killed everything in its path for 200 square miles. The eruption lasted for nine hours. The blast could be heard as far away as California and Montana. Strangely, people close to the mountain heard nothing. 57 people were killed, 200 homes were destroyed, 7,000 large animals and countless small animals died. Enough trees were killed to build 300,000 two-bedroom homes. Mount St. Helens lost 1,314 feet of elevation. It now stands 8,363 feet tall. The volcano is still active. Who knows how tall the mountain will be in 20 years.